So I'd like to thank you for joining us again here at Mazda Roswell. Um, this time going specifically over Apple's new CarPlay system integrated into our Mazda 6. Showing you some of the basic aspects of it as well as a little bit more of a deep dive into it. Um, the very first thing I like to make sure I tell everybody is that whether your car has Apple CarPlay or not, you still have access to Siri's hands-free capability. So if you want to be able to text somebody while driving, call while driving, but stay focused on driving, you can do all that by voice just by using the command, Hey Siri, and having your phone within voice reach of you. Now, using the CarPlay system, you will have to be plugged directly in, and you'll know if you have access to that and your car is compatible because one of your USB ports will have a white phone emblem next to it. That's the one that's specifically used for CarPlay. Once you've plugged into that, you will see um, on your screen in the, your sources option now using USB for Apple CarPlay, just like all your other accesses. Many things will ask you permission because Apple is very specific about who they give your information to. You have to validate any and every app. So if you want AHA, Stitcher, Pandora, any of these apps to access your car and, and information, you'll have to give that permission to them specifically. Um, access your music is just like it would be on your computer or your phone. You have all your different playlists, all your different songs, downloaded music versus music that you're, you're streaming, access to all those different things. Um, and you can have multiple apps that you can use for that. So if you prefer to use Pandora, you prefer to use iHeartRadio, you prefer to use the, the SiriusXM app versus integrated SiriusXM, Stitcher, um, Spotify, all these things now can be accessed through CarPlay and controlled a little bit more eloquently, if you'd like to say it that way. Um, you have multiple navigation apps as well. So you will see the addition now of iOS 12 of Waze. You'll see the addition of Google Maps. You'll see the option of still using Apple Maps. And then, of course, you can always go back to your actual Mazda navigation system if you prefer. So if you would like to use the factory navigation, you will still have that option. So accessing it very simple. You can either go to your applications and activate Apple CarPlay or, again, going directly through sources and picking your source like you would anything else, whether it's FM, AM, XM, AHA. Again, you do have Pandora Stitcher and AHA, which are Bluetooth apps, or all your other Bluetooth links wirelessly, or going directly to the USB connected CarPlay system. Accessing your contacts is very simple. You can either use these hard icons over to your left and right, or go directly to your main menu screen right here. Accessing your contacts, accessing your voicemail. It will default to specifically using Siri when you activate it, but you will see the option of going directly to your contacts as well. Would you like to make a call or check your voicemail? Cancel. Okay. So very, very simple to activate these different things and reach out to different things. Uh, text messaging, again, very simple. We do it all by voice. You have books on tape. You have NBA. I'm sure NFL is shortly behind. Uh, multiple different apps that are available through Apple's new CarPlay system in connection with Monster. Uh, I'd like to thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. If you have any specific questions about one specific app and how to use it, uh, apps that are incoming, or just which cars are available with Apple CarPlay, what model years and what models specifically, please reach out to us directly at MazdaRoswell.com.